Welcome back to Team Misplay Games. We have here our Despia deck profile post structure deck. I'll be going over my card choices today, and this is the build I feel most comfortable playing. All right, let's begin. Uh, first, we'll start off with three Oliver. Uh, he's literally the best Despia. He's your searcher. Uh, three Tragedy. That's your second best searcher, uh, uh, best Despian card. Uh, when he's banished, he searches a card, which is all super good. Uh, we're playing one Dramaturge. Uh, he's great, too. Uh, if you use him as a material, he'll pretty much bring himself back as a negate. Uh, two of the Albaz cards. Uh, this card is actually very important because you need it to resolve the new fusion spell, the Shadal fusion card, uh, the Despia fusion. Uh, one a Light Hexio fusion. Uh, for Dragoon plays, this card is really good. It's essentially whatever you need it to be. Uh, the new fusion spells, we have three Brandon fusions. Uh, this card is super broken. It's essentially Shadal fusion. Uh, this is what's gonna take this deck to the next level. Um, that's why I'm really happy this finally came out. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Uh, three Brandon in opening, uh, another really good card. Uh, this card won a special summon, great uh, starter play. Uh, very good for um, baiting out hand traps. Uh, Triple Brennan in red. Um, this is the second best fusion card of the deck. I actually really like it. Um, you add a, uh, a Despia card or Albaz card from your graveyard and you can fusion someone uh, immediately after. Uh, you cannot attack directly, however, but it does come really useful when you're breaking your opponent's board. Uh, the one Brandon uh, Despia Theater, the Branded. Uh, this is another good fusion card. Uh, this card here is essentially polymerization and it's searchable. So uh, if you ever have like really like awkward brick hands or like multiples, this is really good for uh, clearing that out and getting really useful monsters on board. Um, of course, I'm playing the one called by the grave, you know, help stop hand traps for that brand new fusion. Uh, triple cross out. Uh, this deck is going to be super meta. Uh, you're going to be seeing this everywhere. So this card is going to be very good, especially when it comes to the merit matches. Uh, triple Super Poly. I don't need to say anything. It's Super Poly. We all know how broken this card is. Uh, the Destiny Hero Package. The two Fusion Destinies. Of course, you know, I got to get the OTs. Uh, and the two common uh, heroes. Uh, they're common because I don't want to see them. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the reason I got them in common. I'll see them less. Uh, triple Ash. One of the best hand traps of all time. Uh, triple Ogre. And Triple Imperm. You know. That's how I feel most comfortable. This is actually a perfect 40 card deck. Uh, we'll go over to our extra deck. Uh, for our extra deck, I am playing one of the new Rebellion. Um, this card is really good. Uh, you discard one and it allows you to fuse your summon using the materials from your hand, feel the grave. Uh, we also are playing the one Alubillion, the Brandon Dragons. Um, it's essentially the first version of this card. It does the same thing, except you don't have to discard to do the fusion summon, which is really good. Both of these cards are really good targets for the new brand new fusion spell. Uh, we're playing one of the new Ice Jade Dragon card. This card is really good when it comes to um, breaking boards. It has a negate, and if it um, gets into the grave, it floats. Uh, we're playing the one Glory Dragon, the one Titanic Lad. Um, you know, good um, Despia targets. They're really good with um, Super Poly, or if you ever hard draw the Albaz, you can just go ahead and you know trigger off the board to help break boards. Um, something about this deck I found out is actually really good going second. It could go first too, but it's actually much better going second. Um, we have the Despian Quatrus. Um, this here is a really good Despian target. Really good for uh, for defensive plays, uh, keeping your fusions alive because it has a quick effect where it makes all the monsters that are not fusion level eight fusions. Uh, make all their attack zero, which is really good. Uh, the one Despian Pro Skinion, uh, really good super poly, tar uh, super poly target. Um, I've actually never summoned this card, but I've read its effect, and it's 32 attack, 32 defense, and I do believe it'll come up one day, and it's actually super broken, so figured why not. Uh, two Masquerade Dragons. Uh, Masquerade Dragon is actually one of my favorite cards um, in this deck. It's effect where it burns... Uh, it doesn't burn, it makes your opponent pay for cause. I find that super broken, super degenerate, especially when it comes up to time and you're in the late game. Or if you're able to put up a really good board with some um, with a negate, it uh, makes your uh, opponent have to play very careful because 
life points will start adding up really quickly, especially if you get two of them on board and getting two on board is actually really possible with the new fusion spell and the branded in red. Uh, we also have our generic super polys, the one mud dragon and the starving venom. Uh, two guardian chimeras, um, guardian chimera, we all know how broken this card is, especially in this deck. Uh, it's really easy to make when you have the Despian Theater and if you have like a really bricky kind of hand, you can always just go ahead and just shotgun this and make that. Uh, we have the one uh, Phoenix uh, Phoenix Enforcer, the DEPE, -E, for our hero package. And last but not least, the one Dragoon, uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, because um, you know, it's Dragoon and hey, if I can make it, I will play it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But um, anyway, that's what I'm, I'm playing for this format. Uh, I may experiment with some other different versions of the deck. Uh, if I do, I'll definitely let, um, well, present those profiles as well. I do hear that the Adventure package is really strong in this deck. There's, the Shadal package is really strong in this deck. But, you know, right now it just came out. But this is how I'm playing it. It's how I've been testing it. Uh, I look forward to going to locals and seeing how I can uh, perform this week. Um, so just stay tuned for the updates. Um, we got a lot of good tournaments this weekend. Uh, once we get that um, up and running, I'll be more than happy to bring you the results. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, th thank you for joining Team Misplay.